Hey guys, Peter here. So let's talk about pitfalls. Early 20s pitfall. I say early 20s because people in their mid 20s usually start to get a lot more serious and a bit more focused on life. Uh, not everyone, but at least some people that, that I saw, they started getting a lot more focused in their mid 20s. So if you're in your 20s right now, hopefully this video helps you avoid some pitfalls that I encountered and some of my friends encountered and maybe it saves you some headache later on and when you look back you don't have to have the same regrets that uh, you know that, that, that other people have so with that let's get into it uh, the biggest pitfall that I have seen is FOMO the fear of missing out after I graduated college I went to New York City to start my first job a lot of my friends from college also came to New York City and so we would have a lot of time all of us, just a large group of friends together hanging out, either eating or just going out. And it was fun. It was great to just continue our time in college as though nothing really changed except that now we have discretionary income and we have no homework to do. So our nights were free and we go out in a great city. After a while, it, it gets a little bit tiring, but the reason why we would keep going out is because, and I think the reason is, we're afraid that we're going to miss out on some life-changing social experience if we miss that one dinner or that one, or that one concert with each other. Ultimately, that's not the case. If anything, we could have been better off just saying no to a lot more things and saying yes only to a few select things that we really wanted to do. I could have taken that time to read, to rest, to, to work on myself and to actually practice solitude, which is not a bad thing at all. It's actually really good for you. So FOMO is definitely a big pitfall, I think, that, um, that I, I saw myself encountering. Second one would be neglecting your health. I would kind of divide it into three areas, sleep, exercise, and diet. In college, we all felt invincible. We ate horribly, slept really late, and maybe worked out Maybe not, um, but ultimately your metabolism will slow down. And I slowly saw it slow down over the years and there's like major tipping points along the way when you hit like 30, 31, and then you hit 35. But it's something that I wish I worked on and figured out much earlier, you know, instead of coming to, to learn about it. In, in, in my 30s. The controversy with diet is everyone has different bodies. You know, we respond to different things. We respond to food very differently. And so when it came to dieting, I, I just didn't have any knowledge. I just ate things that I thought were healthy, but were not really healthy for me. I wish that I found keto at 22 instead of at 30. I could have saved myself eight years of chronic fatigue, headaches, feeling like uncomfortable, feeling you know bloated, um, and not being able to lose extra weight around my waist. And so neglecting your health, that's a big pitfall in your 20s and you may feel like you're still pretty invincible, but your, metal your metabolism will slow down. And trust me, if you have this stuff figured out in your early 20s, you'll feel a lot better throughout your 20s and you'll start your 30s in a lot better shape. And the last major pitfall that I um, recognized is only listening to people around your age. I remember in high school or in college, we would always ask the people a year or two older than us for advice on what classes to take, who are the good teachers to have, and what classes and teachers we should avoid. And while those are like helpful short-term things, Sometimes we make decisions that have a long-term impact based on advice from people that are only a year or two older than us. Instead, it would be a lot more helpful if we found a mentor that was 10 plus years older than us because their perspective is broader. They bypassed that short-term decision-making frame and now they're thinking about long-term life decisions. If you're 20, it's helpful to speak to someone who is married or has kids so you can appreciate their perspective and maybe they can help guide you on how to best utilize some of your earlier years so you can be better prepared for marriage and when you become a father or a mother. So hopefully those three um, pitfalls that I've discussed 
help you think about how you're spending your time. And if it resonates with you, hopefully it, it helps you change some of the decisions that, that you're gonna make. And I hope that you are better off for it. So if you have comments, thoughts, questions, please feel free to drop in the comments down here and uh, I will do my best to respond to them. Thank you.